morning everybody. As promised, we're outside Manchester High Court. This is the place where Erwin Mitchell and Begby's trainer and Richard Chapman QC deceived judge after judge. And today we thought it uh, beneficial to come over to Manchester, visit each and every one of them. And we're starting from the Manchester High Court as it was uh, HHJ Obadiah, HHJ Hodge, HHJ Khan, HHJ Moss. They've all been deceived by Erwin Mitchell and Begby's trainer and it's been a travesty of justice. Most of you hopefully have seen my previous video that exposed the shysters at Erwin Mitchell. 45,000 or so views, 180,000 on the other video outside Begby's trainer. Well, after the last one, I received no response as usual. So today, I thought I'd take myself and a camera crew round to each of the addresses in Manchester. So we'll be visiting Richard Chapman QC and John Vickery at 18 St John Street. We'll also be popping along Deansgate to see if we can have a chat with Paul Stanley at Begby Trainer Group PLC. And of course, we'll pop in to Irwin Mitchell because I'm sure they do exist. Because after all, they were broadcasting that they're going to make, become a public limited company only last week with the London Stock Exchange. So here we are where it all started. We're here to try and get some explanation why these white collar fraudsters persist in what they did to me, made me homeless, lost my family, and all because of their lies and their deceit. They have perverted the course of justice. My video was up there, they could have sued me, they could have gagged me, they could have got a court order to take it down, but they can't. They know every single word is true. And these are crooks and they're rotten to the core. So we'll move on from the Manchester Civil Centre and we'll see if any of them have got the spine to just have a chat to me, one-on-one, -on -one, and explain why did you cheat justice? And why did you go in at least six courts and lie after lie after lie. You know, gentlemen, I've made one video, it's had 45,000 views, and I've had numerous phone calls who want to, who sympathize with my plight. And you know I'm coming for you now, you know who you are, you've got ample warning, I've put it out to you, I've wrote to you, only last Friday I wrote to you with Mitchell. So let's see if you have got the balls to come and have a chat. We're here now at 340 Deansgate, Manchester. Having been inside and waited some 30 minutes, we weren't allowed to film. To the credit, one of my trustees, Paul Barber, came down and I tried to explain to him my predicament and why Begby's trainer and Irwin Mitchell and Richard Chapman QC had all deceived the Manchester High Court. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be drawn into comment and we've got no footage because we did stick with the rules and regulations, being uh, COVID restricted as well. But at the end of the day, he's asked me to put my complaint in writing. Paul Stanley, the joint trustee, has already said he's never had as much correspondence in 30 years in the encountancy world. So why they require another letter is beyond me. All I wanted from them was an explanation as to why all my medical evidence was never shown before the court and why they sent their director, Darren Shelmerdine, into my house with his illicit visits and he bribed and blackmailed my family, resulting in my ex-wife still being sectioned in the harbour. Hello, my name's Stephen Reid. Uh, I wondered if it was possible to speak to either John Vickery or Richard Chapman QC. If you, if you want to call up Stephen and then speak to his clerk and then they'll, they'll check the diaries for you. Is it a lady clerk? Um, well, there's one female and two male. Because obviously I'm blocked from emailing, which gets my go okay. goat up because obviously I've made a trip All to right. Manchester. I'll leave that with you, thank you. Right, here I am outside 1 St Peter's Square, the new offices of Irwin Mitchell. Been unlucky on the two previous visits. Um, Begby's trainer didn't want to make a comment unless it was in writing, which I've tried and tried and tried and failed. And then we went to see Richard Chapman and John Vickery. Unfortunately, it was just a lady there who was very court, curt and cut me off. So here we are now, hopefully, to see if we can speak to a solicitor from Irwin Mitchell. 
Right, here we are back outside. The offices of Irwin Mitchell, St Peter's Square, Manchester. Fobbed off again, not allowed to see anybody. I can't honestly understand what they've got to hide because this is going out without any comment and then the public and everybody who watches the videos can make their own inferences. What have they got to avoid? Right, we're back now in Blackpool. Sorry we weren't able to uh, speak to anyone directly. It was either no comment, they wouldn't come to the door. So at the end of the day, watch the video, press the like button, subscribe to my videos, await the next one and wish me best of luck when I get these shysters in the Manchester High Court very shortly. So Begby's Trainer Group PLC, Erwin Mitchell who are supposedly going to be a PLC, Richard Chapman QC and John Vickery of 18 St John Street, see if you're going to stop this one because at the end of the day it's the truth.